was able to go by myself and go for three months, which is crazy. Um, so yeah, it was an experience unlike anything I've ever done in my life. I've never solo traveled. That was my first time. Um, I didn't know anyone there aside from like my family that I knew I was going to visit in Kilkenny. Um, but yeah, so I thought it would just be a really fun video to tell you about my trip. I have loads of souvenirs around me to tap on and um, maybe do some triggers with and that's why we're sitting on the floor <laughs> because I have lots of triggers um, or lots of like souvenirs and things I want to show you. Um, so that will be fun but I also thought it would be really fun to do the rest of the video in an Irish accent because it was just kind of something that I played around with while I was in Ireland. And, yeah, like a month into my trip, I started trying it and trying to use it because I, um, I like accents and I like to pick them up and just have fun with it. And I am also, like, I feel like I have the coloring of an Irish person. I definitely do. And the nose, you know, the, the crooked nose. We love it. Um, so... I was able to speak in an Irish accent and, and I think I fooled most people, but I am truly Irish at heart, like Ireland feels like home to me and when I went, it, I just truly felt like I, it was home, I fit in and, and I was ready to never leave. Um, and yeah, so basically I'll be talking about my trip and showing you all kinds of fun souvenirs from my trip and telling you about everything in my Irish accent and it has been two months since I got home so I might be a little rusty. I haven't used it since getting home really. So without further ado, let's just get right in to the video. Hi. Uh, Westport, 
yeah, so I've got all my like favourite memories in here and just it's so it's so fun to look through. Oh sorry. It's so fun to look through and just remember and relive. Honestly, like sometimes I'll look at a picture and I'll just envision myself. you yeah. 
And like, if you're a foreigner, like, why are you here? Where are you going? Do you need recommendations? That sort of thing. That was my experience. And so, there were so many nights where I'd just walk into pubs and be like, I have no idea who I'm going to meet tonight, but like, I'm so excited to meet them. <laughs> meet strangers. And walk out of the pub with like a group of friends and go get food or like meet up with people the next day that you meet at the pub and I've never, I never experienced that here in the US. So pub culture is just, I, I miss it so much and just kind of what you do like at night, you just go to a pub and you just sit and listen to music or go up to people and just introduce yourself and start talking and and I am the type of person that is so interested in other people like people from other places you know like people from that live in different countries and cultures and I just want to know more about that so I'm, I've met people from like UK, Germany, uh, Lithuania, uh, like all over the world in these pubs and it was just so that was honestly made me so excited to like talk to people and, and hear about their lives and, and what's different about their lives you know uh, so yeah so I loved the pub, 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 pub culture my I started today drinking Guinness and Guinness is if you're not used to drinking alcohol which I wasn't Guinness is very heavy on the stomach And so I actually got introduced by someone I met at a pub to Rockshore Cider, which is a hard apple cider. So I started drinking cider. So my favourite drinks at pubs were, um, I stopped drinking Guinness really. I had like a few, but I really preferred the cider. I would get Rockshore or Balmer's was the other one. So Rockshore and Balmer's. And a fun fact, they actually have Balmer's here in America. Uh, but it's called Magner's, I think. I don't know why, but... So Rockshore and Balmer's were my favourite drinks. And I have that random person that I met in the pub to thank for that. <laughs> he let me try his drink, so... So 
these all the time, so you'll see these in all of my videos. Uh, the first one I bought was actually this one. You can see. You can see that. It's a uh, Celtic knot. I bought it in Dublin. Um, yeah, and I wear it. My hands are so dry. I wear it every day on this finger. I I love it. It's like my favourite ring ever. And then I also bought this. Of course, you have to buy this if you go to Ireland, right? A Glada ring. Glada ring. But there were so many that had like big diamonds in them and were so gaudy and I just wanted like a simple little, you know, it's so simple and like, oh, it's just so cute. So I wear that on this hand. And so now we're all ready to start the video because I've got my rings on. <laughs> So those were in Dublin that I bought those and so I wore them my entire trip. I also bought some, I know you can't really see some wearing headphones, but um, I also bought some earrings in Dublin uh, that I wear all the time, so. Um, let's see. Of course, in Dublin I went to Trinity College. Of course. And actually, when I went, I think it's still going on now, but they had just started doing this renovation project. So there were no books on the shelves of the library. <laughs> there was like one section that had books on the shelves, but the rest of the library, all the shelves were empty, like empty. And it's kind of cool, but it was also it was a bit disappointing because I've gone my whole life like wanting to see the Trinity College Library, you know, as a reader. And there were no books, but, you know, it is what it is. I enjoyed the sections that had the, the books in them and the, uh, the spiral staircase. Oh, it is my dream to have a spiral staircase in my future home. Uh, my future home. That, in my house someday, that is the dream. I just know why I struggle. So much about Trinity College, of course, I had to go. Of course. Uh, I also bought, I'll just, I bought this, uh, like, oh, it's still got the tag. Let's take off the tag. We'll call it good. I had to get a little Ireland magnet. I collect magnets because I put them on my. Uh, rolling cars. Um, so I have magnets from every place I've travelled to, so Ireland. Um, what else? Let's see. Uh, this was my favourite. Well, this was one of my favourite cafes from the whole trip. Cafe Nero, because it's a, it's a chain, so they're pretty much everywhere in, in every major city. See, I've got some stamps collected there, so I keep it till I go back and then I can get a free coffee. <laughs> Works out great. Okay, these are going to... Ah, oh, my legs are falling asleep because I'm sitting cross-legged. I think I need to put my leg out. Also, if you've watched till this far, I want to know what's the coolest place you've ever travelled. 
Every night. Uh, and so all the bartenders knew me. 
I was running out by this point, you know, the end of the trip, like I was, I was trying to save as much as I could, so I got to work at the Christmas market and I got this for free, so this was my compensation for my hours. <laughs> Isn't it so cute? Oh, I love it. So, that is the last thing that I have. I would love to do a part two. Let me know in the comments if you want a part two. Uh, I could do it in an Irish accent. I could do it in just my regular accent. Uh, this has been so fun to talk in my Irish accent again. And I'm sure that I've messed up so many times. But like I said, I'm rusty and I need more practice. So this is great. A great opportunity to practice. I was not expecting this video to be an hour long. But that's where we are. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that if you're Irish, you know how much I love your country. And I can't wait to go back someday. And if you're not Irish, I hope that it inspired you to go there and travel. And I never thought I would solo travel. I really never thought I could do it by myself. I am always the person that like goes with my family or goes with friends or something. But I discovered how fun it is to go by yourself and meet people and like get in new experiences that you wouldn't be able to if you were with a group of people or even with just one person. So I encourage everyone to solo travel and I'll definitely make another video about Ireland. I'll definitely make more videos with the accent. I think it's really fun to use. Um, and yeah, so that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you're still watching, round of applause because that's a long video. <laughs> but yeah, let me know down below if you want a part two of my Ireland trip with like specific stories. I'll go through my travel journal and like find funny stories and I can share them with you because uh, there were definitely lots of moments. I'm 